Our observatory is on the 16th floor of the McLennan Physical Labs building, so at 60 St. George Street, right downtown. For those people who haven't been here before, it's a, it's a bit of a novelty. I'm Ilana McDonald. My name is Jamil Sharif. I'm a graduate student here at the Department of Astronomy and Astrophysics. I'm in the third year of the PhD program. We have four telescopes set up. Two telescopes that we use on the balcony, which is on the 15th floor of the building, and it goes all the way around. So you, you get this nice panorama of the city. People do enjoy just catching some night air and, and seeing the, the view of downtown and the skyline. So we have a 10-inch Mead LX200, which is a portable telescope, but it's quite large, so it has a pretty good field of view and um, high-resolution images of really cool objects. So you can see Nebula. It's a go-to telescope, so it uh, is motorized. We also have a 4-inch uh, Questar telescope, which is really small and portable, so we can put it pretty much anywhere. And uh, we use that to look at brighter objects. Like it, It's pretty good with planets and star clusters and stuff like that. Two of the telescopes are permanently housed in domes. A 16-inch reflecting telescope is still used for undergraduate labs, sort of a scientific telescope, though it's hard to do real science in downtown Toronto. The 16-inch and also our 10-inch Mead, they're go-to scopes, so you just have to set it up and then it knows exactly where it is in the sky and you can just point it at any object you have programmed into your catalog, which is really convenient because then you can look at things that you can't necessarily see with the naked eye. Well, I, I think people certainly like the uh, the aesthetic of the 8-inch refracting telescope because it's, it dates back to about 1965. In particular, in the dome, is sort of a romanticized, uh, uh, you know, vision of a telescope that is in the public mind still. I think it very it very much has that going for it, the traditional notion of a telescope. Yeah, so, so the 8-inch is all manual except for a motor which helps it track the sky. So you actually have to reach up there and, you know, throw it around and point it at objects that you can actually see with your eye. Concurrently with the telescope session, we have four planetarium shows running. And they run starting at 9 p.m. and they go on until 9.45. And the reason for that is that the planetarium uh, seats 25 people at a time. So in order to accommodate uh, all of our guests, we have shows of 25 people each and uh, four of them throughout the evening. And so far they've been very well received, I have to say. So per tour it's actually around 12 or 13 people who, you know, make it happen.